Okay, so let's make this a uh, circuit fabricator now then. Um, so put that in there, the aluminium, uh, furnace, uh, got a couple of buttons, got some wire as well, and a redstone torch. And that's going to make a circuit fabricator. Now, one of the um, things to realize here is that traditionally with this uh, turbine here, uh, and I believe this turbine it gets more power as it goes higher up as well. But you can see it's got lots and lots of power in there. Um, and traditionally, you would just use this to power everything. Um, I don't think that's actually going to be what happens here because if you'll see, the uh, the uh, turbine is, is powered on the front face here, on the base block here. And you can see they connect. But unfortunately, this power bar doesn't actually go up. Um, and what... Um, and the way that you actually power stuff is you just put stuff in, in this block, like um, batteries and stuff like this, and that is going to help power stuff. So that is how I'm actually going to have to do it, I think. Um, I could also use the coal generator. That is another option here. Um, and it may it may actually be the option that I go for. Um, because I think it's just going to be a little bit quicker uh, than using a battery. Uh, we got the, uh, we're not going to need that at the moment. So what I'll do is I'll just um, I'll just let the uh, the coal generator uh, uh, power this for now. Um, let's get it in the right spot there. So it should be coming on the left hand side. So there we go. Um, and this is going to be powering up that nicely. Okay. So now what we need to do is we put in the um, uh, the diamond there. We've got some raw silicon here. Um, redstone and we need a torch I believe okay so let's look at what we've got here with the uh, compressor because we are going to need this compressor um, so we're going to need an anvil um, and uh, yeah and the rest of the stuff we can get fine and this is going to give us our uh, three wafers there which is cool okay so we'll just quickly um, have I got any iron left I wonder not enough actually so we'll just um, put a little more in here some of these furnaces at the end here okay all right so let's um let's just think about while this iron's cooking we can think about what exactly um, um, we're trying to do so one of the things when, when we look at this um, this NASA workbench, which is of course how you launch the rocket, you can see we need the advanced uh, wafer, and, they, and this is something that we can actually already do. Um, we just put a repeater there because it, this uh, in the top right slot of the circuit, circuit fabricator is what decides um, the type of wafer that we're going to get there. Um, and of course, we need compressed steel, and compressed steel, as you can see, is um, going to be um, two irons of steel there. Um, and yeah, I believe we just cook iron twice. I think that's how it works. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at that in a moment. Um, there's an electric uh, compressor as well, so we'll think about which compressor to use for this. Um, but yeah, we can see that um, there's a lot of. Uh, if we just look at compressed stuff, we can see there's a lot of these uh, compressed copper, um, compressed tin, uh, and aluminium, and we've got bronze as well. So we have copper and tin, and we put that in a compressor, we're going to get bronze. So, yeah, and we look at some of the stuff this is used for. Um, so there we go. The electric compressor is like this. This oil extractor is going to be used to get the oil out. Um, I'm also going to need some canisters. Um, to make the wrench, which is going to allow us to change the faces of the block, um, we're going to need, uh, again, we're going to need, we're going to need a compressor, basically. Um, so the advantages of um so the, the, let's let's talk about the differences between the compressors then um so this compressor uh is only going to do one it's going to do one for one basically um it's like a it's like the difference between a compressor and an electric compressor is a difference between a smelter and a macerator that's how you've got to look at it um so yeah and the electric compressor and of course we're going to need to get this uh but you can't um, you can't just go straight to the electric compressor because you won't be able to because you have to compress stuff first to get there. So there's no um, 
so the, the methodology is clearly just to go straight for the um, original compressor. All right, so yeah, so the recipe is going to be uh, this anvil. So let's have a look, see how many we've got. Plenty. Okay, good. All right, so we've got plenty uh, of stuff there. So we'll just um, make our anvil then. Okay. Okay. So we've got our anvil. And uh, can we make it already? I wonder. Have we got any ingots left here? And the reason um, the aluminum or aluminium is used is um, it's because of its rarity. Um, we've got our basic wafer there and the anvil here. So there's our compressor. Um, okay, so let's see what's going on. Um, so that's still got full power there. Um, the coal generator is, is actually a pretty, it's not a bad, uh, not a bad option really. Um, I think uh, it's a question of using the coal generator. I mean, the other option that we could do as well. Let's just uh, let's just talk about the other option while I'm here. The other option is to use batteries because we can put batteries into the wind turbine. That would actually facilitate actually a good reason for actually having made it. Um, so we're going to need compressed tin for that to make the batteries. Okay. So all right. So we've got our compressor here. So let's put that down. It's probably going to be on the left side of the block. So if we put it down here, maybe it'll connect. No, it's on the different side this time. Where is it? It must be on the bottom then, I guess. I don't see it anywhere else. Oops. Let's just try and put that. Does it not take any? Oh, it simply just takes coal, doesn't it? Hmm. So that's not so. Hmm. So it's actually the same type, isn't it? In a sense. All right. So we're going to just have to use coal for that. All right. So, I mean, the real thing to think about is how, how the best way to get to electric compressor status. Um, so we're going to want steel and we're going to want bronze. Um, now steel, let's have a look when we um, put some of these iron ingots back in the, uh, the furnace here. We don't get anything when we do that. So let me just see. Uh, let me look at steel then. Okay, so you can't actually cook iron and just uh, iron ingots and just turn them into steel ingots. There's a, a slightly a different process involved. Uh, what we're going to need to do is get enriched iron. Okay, so we need to use charcoal in there, and we've got the metallurgic infuser already, so that's that's uh, convenient. Um, so we need to use charcoal and iron to get enriched iron, um, and then we can do uh, put the then we put the enriched iron back in, and we're going to get steel dust, and then we can cook that up, and that's going to give us uh, the steel ingots. Okay. So let's um, move on and do that. So, yeah, so, okay, so we've got some charcoal here. I um, wonder if I did have some more iron here. I've got some iron here as well. Um, okay, so we'll take out this enriched alloy that we've got. Um, so we'll put some charcoal in there and that will change. And you see it changes a different color when you when it goes up like that. Um, and then we can put that into the um, uh, metallurgic infuser there. Uh, it's actually draining power, possibly because I've got no coal in here. So let's just grab some coal from here. Okay. So I just want to um, just fill up some of these uh, chests. Just fill up that uh, furnace there. Okay, so this is all, um, so yeah, so we can use the compressor now, actually. Um, okay, so we are going to need to get a lot of um, steel plate. Let's just look at, um, um, look. we're going to need here, so we've got, Compressed iron bronze. This is the newest one. I'm not sure about this. We're, we're going to be moving on to that stuff later. Um, okay, so compressed tin. 
So you can see this is this is um, the electric. Uh, this is, this gets us one. This is the regular one rather, and then the electric ingot. You can see. Um, so that goes from four ingots to two there. And actually, no, it is the same. It is the same uh, value now. I think about it, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's just the speed is, is different, and of course you can use batteries. And speaking of batteries, uh, it might be a good idea to actually make some, and that way we can. Uh, um, uh, it might be useful. Oh, this is why this is why we need the tin, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So the batteries are used with. Uh, okay, so tin is going to be the first thing we're going to want to put in here then. So let's get some tin then. Um, let's see if we've got any in any of these. Let's um, let's let's get some more ore smelting here. Okay, so let's go to the models, and we'll get ourselves a stack of tin, a stack of aluminium, copper, and I might put in uh, some more iron as well. Might not be a bad idea. So let's just put in a few more stacks here. So that goes in the iron. Uh, that's mine here. So yeah, this will just uh, just help to keep uh, things uh, ticking over for the next few sort of sections here. So you can see we've got a nice amount of enriched iron there, um, and that should be enough for now actually. So let's put that back in, and we can see now we're going to get um, the steel dust, and then we can cook up that steel dust and uh, get some steel plates. Okay, so let's just keep on. Um, and now, now, now there's two more things as well that we need to consider when making uh, the spaceship. Because we're going to go to the moon. Um, the well, well, one thing we need to do actually before that, yeah, this is this is this is where you always you have to start thinking about things slightly differently. We're going to need bronze. I think we want to make this wrench. Having a wrench is having a good tool is always a good idea, um, and also it uses um, the two most difficult. Um, compressed irons to get so if we have this it will help to speed up the work for later on um, because bronze and steel obviously because they're uh, a bit more difficult to obtain um, it's going to be worth doing that we need compressed copper and compressed tin uh, for that um, for the steel we need to put the steel ingots in okay so the steel is going to come along first so we're going to want to get the compressed copper and the compressed tin um, so let's have a look okay this is a shapeless recipe um, so we're going to get loads of that on the go. Um, we're going to start cooking up that dust as well. Okay, so let's look again at battery here. Okay, so we're going to need that compressed tin for the battery. So what can we do before that? Well, we do need a lot of oxygen stuff because the oxygen stuff is going to be what uh, enables us to breathe uh, 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 when we get to... Um, other uh, uh, celestial bodies. So, yeah. Now, there's different sizes of oxygen tank, um, and they go up in 900 uh, sort of air units increments. Uh, the heavy one is going to be the one we want. Again, that's going to need compressed steel, and it's going to need a tin canister. Okay, so we can make some. Uh, let's make some canisters then. That's something that we can do at the moment. Okay, so we have a few canisters here. Yeah, we've got enough for two, so we'll make uh, four there. Okay, uh, I'll just put this in uh, in here for now. Okay, so we're going to need oxygen gear as well. There's going to need oxygen pipes, which are glass panes. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do uh, briefly is just collect uh, some more resources and I'll come back uh, when we're ready to move on to the next phase.